Well, uh, obviously, we'll uh, be getting a new door. <laughs> So when you first saw this building, what was what was going through your mind? Well, we instantly walked in and just got a real surprise because we just thought, oh, God, it's massive. You couldn't really tell that from outside at all. It's just such a big space. And we saw the potential instantly because artists and performers, we need space. You need space to move. So in these big square rooms, we could just imagine all the activity that would happen in it. And in here, we thought, well, this, this could be a great cafe because it's right in the middle, the heart of the whole building. So it's like the hub where people who maybe wouldn't normally meet each other, different art forms, different communities could connect. Uh, a black box theatre, to be precise, to give it its proper term, a black box theatre is a space that doesn't have the big lights, it doesn't have the big sets. It's a place to experiment and play where audiences will use their imagination for that kind of thing. They like that sort of stuff. So you could have comedy and poetry and scratch performances of plays, writing events, we could imagine exhibitions in here, films in here, acoustic music in here, you know, a bit like MTV and plug that kind of thing. Obviously it's going to be a lot bigger. So as you can see here, this is, this is one of the third staircase. This is the third staircase in the building. That's all going to be knocked out. So it'll be one big space that we think will seat comfortably about 100 people. So here we are on the first floor and what is going to be workshop room four because there's going to be four workshop spaces. We're keeping this because it's all coming out but we could reclaim that for the bar because we think that's absolutely lovely. And in here, well, you could dance in here, do improv in here, do painting, do sculpting, do drawing, do filmmaking. It's such a big space and you've got great light that comes in from the back actually. We'd love to see a youth theatre uh, here at the weekend. It's where I kind of started out. And to see lots of families and children taking part in activities over the weekend. So here on, on the other side of the building upstairs, there's a lot of uh, small rooms. So a lot of these walls are going to come down to make for bigger workshop spaces. This room was clearly a sewing room because at one time the building was a closed wholesale store and lots of seamstresses up here making things and you can see the clock stopped at nine o'clock. <laughs> and, you know, before it was a closed wholesale store, uh, it was a butcher's because actually it's all of the shops and bars and the hotel across the road, all the way to Centre for Life, this whole area was a cattle market. It was literally where people would come to sell their muck cattle so this is like really old you know so it needs a lot of work as you can see it needs a lot of repair but look at this room we love this room because look at the light all the way around here and through that door is a balcony that takes you out into the yard and into the back which is absolutely great too so back to the ground floor now we've done a full loop and down here this seems to be the prime position for the lift at the moment and this whole area we imagine to be a really nice chill out zone um, it's like a workshop because it looks over onto grass out there and out there where the garage is one of the garages that's going to be turned into all the loos and on the other side there's a garage that's going to be turned into a bike park so how do you think you'll feel the moment that the crowdfund hopefully ticks over to that amount that we need to open the doors and get this started uh, I will be jubilant, as I'm sure the rest of the team will, uh, seeing that happen. I'm going to start imagining that, actually, and make that become a reality. <laughs> uh, we'll, I'll breathe again and have a lot of time back the next day, I would imagine, to get on with the next step.